y'all. I'm super excited because I found two jewelry bags today at Goodwill. And we're actually going to open one of them today. I paid $29.99 for this bag. And I got my tools out. I'm ready to go through it. I can't wait any longer. I don't even have my camera set up properly done. But I just can't wait to go through this any longer. So I'm going to have to figure something out where I can set the camera down. Uh, and have both hands to look at everything. I might have to get my backpack out and my GoPro. <laughs> Wait, that's actually maybe a good idea. Hmm. Okay, we are going to try using the GoPro with the backpack. <laughs> I can't guarantee it's going to stay still though. All right, now to open this bag, finally. <laughs> um, I actually ordered on Amazon. I have a... Um, a Logitech little webcam and I want to use that going forward to like make my videos like this but that's not going to be here I think until tomorrow so <clears throat> but I couldn't wait till tomorrow to open this bag <laughs> so I've set aside an hour and hopefully I can finish this within an hour and um, we can see what all is in here Okay, now I do have a baggie already set aside for stuff I'm not going to keep so that I don't end up going through this twice. And then I've got a couple smaller baggies for things that we might end up keeping. <clears throat> okay. So, first thing I'm seeing is a little cross. It looks like it says something on it at the bottom. But I am not seeing anything on that. We have a bracelet here. Missing a lot of stones. Not sticking. So let me take a closer look. Yeah, I was excited. So let me tell you what happened. So I walked into Goodwill this morning and <clears throat> I saw the bag and I stopped in my tracks and I was like, patiently waiting for somebody to come over there and help me um, and get the bag out so I could see it and I got it I waited in line right away and because you know they won't let you go put it I don't see any markings on this one they won't let you go put it in your um in your basket your buggy while you're shopping so they'll either hold it for you behind the counter or you know just pay now and I always pay now because um, I've had things happen in the past where somebody else sees it and it can get sold out from under you. So it's best when you see some, something like that and stuff like that, just to buy it right then and pay for it and then go put it in your car and come back in and continue shopping. So, oopsie, look what just flew out the match to that, those little cross earrings. So that's what I did. And then when I came back in, I did some more shopping and I checked out for the second time. <laughs> and then I was leaving the store and they had put out another bag. So... Um, I don't know, what does this auto exposure mean? So I came out, uh, I mean, so I, I asked to see that bag and then I got back in line for a third time. So I actually waited in line three times, but um, yeah, it was worth it because I really wanted to get these bags. Okay, sorry about that y'all, I had to go put dinner in the oven. Uh, we'll actually just turn on the oven to preheat it. It might beep in a minute and I might have to stop again. But yeah, okay, so I need to learn how to talk and go through the story at the same time. So yeah, I checked out three different times. This is interesting. Like It's like a little mouse or something with some glitter. That is bizarre. Crazy. So I don't, I'm just going to dump all of them out. I can't see them as thick in here and thick in their business. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. That is a lot of stuff. All right, actually, I think I am going to take a picture <laughs> to use for a thumbnail real quick. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get started. I'm, the, I'm just not the best at, like, talking and going to these jewelry jars. There's a neat little necklace. Mally. Mallory Padro, Pardo, 
It looks like a souvenir piece. There's something. Get it off of here. Another beaded necklace. Yeah, I'm going to put this right in the bag to make another lot. So I think I'm just going to grab all the gold looking stuff first. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of a Chico's necklace. It is really tangled up too. Doesn't say anything on it. All right. Uh, oh, I do see a marking on this one. And it says PD. I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably can't. But it says PD, and that is Premier Designs Choker. So I'll set that one aside in our keep pile. Have another necklace. Oh goodness, beads are about to go everywhere. This is going right into the tent pile. Oh, this one's pretty. Let's see if it sticks in it. No wonder I'm always losing my magnet, y'all. I cannot keep up with my stuff. Here it is. I have one that's a lot better than this one. And I can't find it right now. It's probably stuck on some jewelry somewhere here in the house. Let's see. This one's not the best. This one's a little bit of a closer view. But unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. Skippy's all strung out. He had a pepperino. What do you call it? Like a cappuccino. A puppuccino from Starbucks. Earlier when I picked my daughter up from school. So we'll put that in the keep pile for now. Here we have a little Heineken key ring. I don't know if anyone would want to buy that. If it's worth listing or not. What do y'all think? Oh, I'll put it in the key. Okay. This is pretty. Definitely sticks though. That'd be some pretty pieces to craft with, though. They're really pretty. Pretty colors. Some rhinestones and gold. Let's see what these are. These, these say Texas, October 23rd, 2010, Iowa State. And looks like the Texas Longhorns. There's two of those. I'll put those in the keep pile. You never know. Might be able to get like 10 bucks for those or something. I've had decent luck selling pens in the past. Looks like that one's missing some stones. Little cocktail ring. Put that in the pile. Try and speed this up some. Now this is interesting. It's a necklace made out of like t-shirt material. That is weird. Different. I guess it would keep you warm if it was cold, right? <laughs> Rather than cold metal on your neck, you have a nice little warm fabric. But yeah, we're gonna put that in the pile. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Ooh, it has a gold post too. Let me take a little look. Oh, bummer, it's sticking to the magnet. I'm still going to look anyway. So yeah, anytime it has a gold post, I'm always looking at that too. I get excited when I see a gold post because I think 
you never know I mean it could be but those are cute earrings I'm gonna set that aside and <clears throat> see if we don't find the match for it <clears throat> they're not real gold Bummer. what do we have here here's another one like a little little knot stud earring this one has a gold post so I'm gonna look at it not seeing anything on the post Ooh, and it's got some of that green stuff what do you call it vertigo not vertigo but shoot I can't remember what it's called it starts with a V I don't know if this GoPro is going to be the best quality like I said um, the next time I do this hopefully I will be using a my webcam oh this says something on it my webcam I think it's going to be a lot better for doing the jewelry uh, it says Monet on it for doing the jewelry um, and baggings. So we have a little pen here, A plus teacher, some clip earrings. These are definitely statement clip earrings. We'll set that aside, see if we find the match. Love these, these little vintage ones. With the sequins sometimes they have flowers but yeah they're little clip earrings this one looks like it'd be like monet or trifari oh and it might be see how they write so tiny right there let me look i believe it says monet Yeah, we'll put these aside. We'll put all of our earrings over here, I guess, in this corner. <clears throat> so here's some gold. This is lightweight. Feels like it's probably going to stick to the magnet. Oh, but it's not. Well, that's interesting. Let's look at the clasp. Not seeing anything. Maybe this is, I don't know, it's a really big clasp, which makes me think. I think this might be a belt. I think this is a belt. So yeah, we are gonna put that in there. What do we have here? Another choker. I'm not seeing any writing on it. Or any hallmarks. It's definitely magnetic, so that's a bummer. <clears throat> but I do like to look. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. But that's a cool piece. I think I'll set that aside. I could always sell that in my antique booth. Got a... Looks like a gray smoky beaded necklace. I'll put that one. For another jewelry dryer that we'll make up. Let's see. Some earrings. Oh wow. These are definitely retro. Teal and black. Those are kind of cool. I think I'm going to put those in our keep pile. Gray enamel earrings. These are unusual clip earrings. They're black, I feel like black velvet. We have some stones here. These definitely feel like they could be real because they're cold to the touch. And what are these? This. Yeah, it looks like this was probably maybe a necklace or a bracelet, and it has the matching earrings, but I'm not sure what kind of stone that could be. But it's definitely cold. And the oven is ready, you guys. I need to put dinner in there. I'm going to keep all these little stones together. Here's another pair of earrings. Little stones. Put those over there. 
All right, let me go put dinner in the uh, oven real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, dinner is in the oven. All right, so the bag cost $29.99. So, of course, I'm trying to find something that I can make my money back on with that. This one says recognized campus. So that was probably some kind of award. I'm getting that auto exposure sign again. There's another one. And you guys, I just ordered a bunch of stuff off of um, that Goodwill Blue Box. So I'm going to be doing some unboxing with unboxings with that stuff too. So I've done those before in the past, a while back. And that was a lot of fun. I don't know, what, what in the world is this? This is interesting. It's really heavy. And it's got a hole in the bottom. Huh. That is interesting. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yeah, it definitely sticks to the magnet. That's neat. We'll set that aside for further investigation. Let's see, another pin. Reaching something goal host. Some clip earrings. Oh, it says something there. I think it says premiere. Closer. Yeah, Premier. Put that one aside. Got a little necklace. What are these? They're so weird. It's like there's a bead at the bottom. It says something in there. Mallory. Huh. That is really weird got liquid in there so oh here's the other clip ring for this one put that over there and let's see we've got a black black gold and pearl this one is a mark too I think this one says yeah that's premier designs too but premier designs can sell pretty good decent anyway I have seen these before I have bought bags with these in there before. They must have been a popular little clip earring. Let's see what it says. Also says Premier. Little heart. Does that say a heart? That's a flower, Tanya. That is a flower. Some more of those cluster clip earrings. This bag has a lot of clip earrings in it. And here's the match for the black and gold ones. It doesn't look like it was made very well, the quality, because like the stone here is off centered. So, yeah, here's the match for the other one we just found like that. I'm trying to speed this up. We have some bracelets. These are pretty neat looking. Try to always check the top and the bottom of the little beads on there to make sure they're not sterling or Pandora. Here we got, looks like a silver earring. Boy, I'm thinking this new lady who does the jewelry, she thoroughly checks it. Because <laughs> I'm not seeing any marks on this one either. Let's see. There's the match for it. I'm just going to put these together. That's always put my hoops together. Even my own, because if I don't, I always end up losing them. So I just clasp them together. So that way, like handcuffs. Let's see if they stick to the magnet. They're not sticking. Let me take another look. Uh, uh, no, 
not seeing anything on this pair. Let's see. Another pair clip. I could make a clip earring lot. I don't think those sell too well though. Well, you know, when you get a jewelry jar, you're always kind of hoping that you have at least maybe one, one home run, right? Well, this is really pretty. Hopefully we find the match for this. Put that over there. This little cuff brace looks like it lost a stone. And it says KCR. I don't know what that stands for. Um, Kenneth Cole. I don't know. KCR. I'm not sure about that. Let me know if you know in the comments down below. Let's see where'd our magnet go. It's not sticking to the magnet. Oh well, we'll put that in the bag for now. This just feels like it's gonna stick and it does. Oopsie. Get back over there. Now these are cool. These look like they could be bake light. Hopefully we'll find a match for that one. Got some little beaded barrettes. Hmm. I don't know about this one. I don't even see a clasp on this. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah, it's sticking. Hmm. I don't know. We'll put that in there. Definitely put this in there. Um, this looks like gold, but it's just like some kind of fabric material. So I'm just going to put every bit of this back in that bag. Whoever uh, donated this stuff definitely had a Mallory in the family. This one looks like a little key ring, keychain maybe. And a bango, bango, bangle. <laughs> it says Ficaro Couture. Ficaro, Ficaro Couture. Huh. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Let me know if y'all heard of that. This looks like the pendant that goes with those Premier Design earrings. Some little matching like medallion earrings with purple and pearl uh, beads. We'll put that back in the grab bag. Oh, it is pretty on the front. It's purple. When I put together the grab bags to sell at my antique booth, I always try to put some good stuff in there. Like what's usually in there is like scrap stuff you can craft with, but also uh, stuff that you can wear as well. And I feel like the jars just are not selling very well. So I was going to ask y'all what y'all thought about um, bags, like jars versus... Oh, look, we found the other one. Yay, I'm so excited. So, look, we have a pair. How cute are those? I just love them. Um, so I wanted to ask y'all if y'all thought the bags sell better, like a grab bag at the booth. Or do you think that the jars, and if I had to pick, I don't know, I just like the way a jar looks better than a bag. A jar is just more pleasing to the eye. <laughs> but um, I would definitely be curious to know what y'all think. Now these are pretty little clip earrings. Let's see. Those were pretty. And then we have some beads. 
this one retail for $16. So that's cute. Definitely not keeping these little children's beads. Another hippie boho bracelet. Oh, this is pretty. I'll definitely keep this. Another choker. It does have some of that green stuff on there. I know one of y'all will remind me in the comments what it's called. Um, it's just been so long since I've opened a bag of jewelry. I don't even remember what that's called. But I don't think that it happens on real gold. But yeah, really pretty bracelet anyway. So far our keep pile is looking pretty slim over here compared to our make another jar pile. <laughs> so yeah. That oh yeah, I forgot about this necklace. But yeah, it's pretty tarnished. So, I mean, if nothing else, maybe I'll get my money back. Um, oh, here's another earring. Get my money back by selling, you know, the jar again. What is this? Oh, that's cute. So, like a little hat pin or... I don't know what kind of pin this is. I think the hat pins are a little bit bigger. The stick pin... But yeah, it's gold charms on there. That's really cute. Keep that. Yeah, so little seed bead red necklace with a little angel earring. That's pretty. Another barrette. This one looks like a like a peace symbol pendant that somebody made beaded. Stretchy bracelet. Who's that? Is that Sophia, I think? Bracelet. Some other stretchy ones. A lot of times the nitty gritty might be in the little and the smalls, right? Like little stud earrings and whatnot. This one's interesting. Looks like another choker. Like a Southwest Indian style. That's cool. I think I'll keep that. I'll put that in the booth. Uh, we have a, what looks to be a leather. Like a charm to clamp on your purse. Or carry your keys. This is a pretty little um, cuff bracelet. And another thing about doing the video the way I'm doing it right now, I'm having to stand up, which is super uncomfortable for me. Once I get this figured out, I'd like to be sitting down at my desk with my heater, all comfy and cozy. That'd be a lot more comfortable. So this is really pretty, but it's not magnetic, but I'm not seeing any marks on it. It's really pretty. It's lightweight too. No, what do y'all think? We'll set that aside for some more research. Some more of the sea beads. Little gold earring. Almost looks like a bronze color. But I am gonna look because the post is gold. I probably should just stick the magnet to it first. It's always exciting to use the loop and see if there's any marks, but it's definitely magnetic. So use gots to go. Some more beads. Oh, well, that's a cute earring. Wait, I kind of like that bracelet, but it's a little big for me. Look at this one. Little, uh, it says believe. Got a little Santa Claus, a Christmas tree, and a present. Those are cute. We'll set those aside. Oh, look, here's the matching one. 
Yay! Beads. These earrings. We'll put those back in the bag. Alright, well I'm not seeing anything too crazy, y'all. This is really pretty, though. Like some bracelets, but they're all together. They're a little big for me, I think. But, um... I don't know, those are pretty cool. I think I'll put those in the booth. Bracelet. Oh, this clip earring, that one's broke. Now we found the other one over here. Let's put those back in the bag to make a jar or a bag with. Well, I like these. Little angel made out of beads. That one's really pretty. Let's see if they're sterling. Well, I'm not seeing anything right away, but we'll set them aside with our other earrings. What does this one say? Love. Alright, well, I think we're kind of wrapping it up. A little angel pen. Put that one over there. A watch. Delta. Texans. Oh, Houston Texans. Let's see what else. I remember the last time. Oh, look, we found the matching uh, angel earring. The last time I did a jar like this, um, when I was done, actually it was that basket of jewelry when I was done, I found uh, gold. <laughs> so yeah, look, um, this one's cool. Looks like a copper one, little copper bangle. I definitely think it's child size too. And I'm not seeing any marks on it. But yeah, that is really pretty. We're gonna have to keep that one. Bracelets. So this bangle matches the other one. We'll put that in our keep pile. Maybe put those together to sell them. Um, these are cute. Oh, look, here's the match. So, yeah, I love these. Those are pretty, huh? I'll put those aside. So, y'all, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we have any gold. Now, looky here are the matching earrings. Oh, and a ring, too, for that necklace that was here earlier, but it was missing stones. But that's neat. Maybe somebody will want the earrings and a matching ring. I don't think that, I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to be anything. I just think it's like a design. And they're definitely magnetic. Yeah, I'll put those aside. I'll try and sell those. I guess it's like a little earring, white enamel and gold. I'm finding a lot of the matches the earrings too, so that's good. Now this is a pretty piece, but it's definitely broke. So yeah, in the bag you go. Ooh, this is a pretty pen. Missing one stone right there though. So pretty. Oh, I'll throw it in the bag. Definitely put these in there. Got a little apple. All right, I think that's gonna about do it for this bag, you guys. Not a, not really anything spectacular. Um, but yeah, if you saw anything that you're interested in, definitely hit me up, and I uh, will get it over to you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this jewelry jar or jewelry bag and bagging <laughs> and we'll be doing more like this and um, hopefully I'll have a little bit of a better setup by the time we do it again. Oops, beads are dropping. I gotta go. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Bye y'all.